Okay, so this should be the last video from our basic VBA series. In this video, we're gonna just create a macro to delete blank rows from our data. And then we'll take that and assign that macro to a button. So let me show you what we're going to create. So I'm gonna add some blank rows here like this. And I want to create a macro to basically just remove all of these blank rows. Now, again, we're going to use the macro recorder method to do this and then modify it to make it work. Now, let me first explain you how this is going to work. So first of all, I don't want to delete the rows if they are empty like this. I only want to delete the rows that are completely blank, like this one this one, not this one. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm basically just going to go here and create a counter function, which counts the number of cells that are not blank. So if I do something like this, see, it gets six, six cells are not blank. And if I drag this formula down, see the ones that the whole row is blank is going to give me zero and everything else is gonna give me some other number. So five, six, whatever. So if we get a zero, then we know the whole row was actually blank. Now, if you wanted to handle cases when you have not true blanks, but maybe there's a formula here that returns a blank, like double quotes, then you could do a formula like, for example, count ifs, and then say if this entire row is blank, so double quotes. So this, see, gives me zero, so there are zero blanks in that particular one. But here it says there are six, so all of these are blanks. And in here it says one, and basically if we have six, then we know the whole row is blank. And we can say, is that equal to six? And this way we could get trues for rows that are blank. There are hundreds of ways you could go about this, but that's not really the point of this. So I'm going to go with this true blank, but you could apply any of these with the same logic. I'm going to delete all of these. And let's create our recorded macro that's going to do this. So I'm going to go under developer, record macro. I'm going to call this remove blanks press OK, call it like blanks, then start a formula. I'm going to do counter formula and select this entire range, close this and drag this formula down. And then now because I have my zeros, I can add a filter to this. I can filter this to anything that's zero in this column which should return my blank rows. And then I'm going to select all of these and right click delete. And then if I clear my filters and remove the filter, it should have just the data without the blanks. And then I'm going to delete this column, click on a one cell. So that should be our data with no blank rows. Fair enough. I'm going to go under developer and stop recording. Let's look at this recorded macro. So this is what we got recorded here. So it recorded to add borders and everything because I did add this cell to the right. I don't really care about that interior colors and all that. So I'm going to remove this width block that changes all the colors. I'm going to remove this other two lines that do the borders. I'm going to remove this other width block that does the next one, as well as a bunch of other of this formatting related stuff. I'm just going to get rid of it, including all of this. So that brings me to this, where we go to G1, and that's this cell, and put the word blanks in there. And then we go to G2, which is the cell below. We do the formula. And then we drag that formula down 
and then we do the filter and apply it to this particular range and so on. And then we basically do our steps. I'm going to start by again, finding the last row on top of this data. So I'll do LR and I'll get the last row using control up method in the first column. So I'll do cells rows dot count first column and then end Excel up for control up and finally dot row to get the row number. So that should be the last row. Now I need to basically get all this 26 s that are hard coded last rows and replace those with my last row. So I'm going to go here very quickly, just remove this 26 and concatenate the last row here, remove the next 26 here. Again, this line is completely not necessary here, but I'm just going to go with the flow here. Just do the change. This one should not be 26. The last row here. Now this is the part where we select and delete our blank rows. When we select everything from row six to row 20. And the reason it's six to 20 is because after the filter, basically that was the range that was left. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go and change this from row two which is the second row on top, which is the first row of our data, and then replace this 20 with my last row again. And then we'll do the delete, uh, show all data, all of this, basically everything else I'm gonna keep the same. I'm just gonna test this macro to see what happens so far. So 22 rows right now. Let me just make a copy of this. I'm going to add a couple of rows here. Let's run the macro and see what happens. So macros run. So everything seemed to have gone well. We have 22 rows now after we did all of these operations. We remove all unnecessary rows out of this. Just to test this, let's also just do this over here as well. This should be a good sample for us. Good, 22 rows. So our macro works. It does what it's supposed to do. So I'm not gonna mess around with this anymore. All I want to do is just assign it to a button here to the right, where our users could come back later on and paste new data here, click on this, and it will basically do all these steps and clean the data. Now, since they will be pasting the data, I'll probably just remove all of the data from here. And then go here and add a button. So I'm going to go under developer tab, go under insert and use one of these buttons. So I'll just use this button on top. You could also use this active X for this type of stuff. There is really no difference. You can use either one of them. I'm going to do this and draw the button here. See, it shows the list of macros, which one you want to assign this to. This is the macro I did. I want to assign this to this. I'm going to press OK. Now, I want to also change this button text. Make sure you right click on the button and click edit text. Otherwise, when you click on it, you're going to run the macro. So now I can change it to something like this, remove duplicate rows. That's going to be my button. I'm going to click away. So now we should have this button that should run that macro. So now let's just go and get some data. So this is my data. I'm just going to copy that from here. Go back to this, paste it right here on this particular worksheet. And finally, just click remove duplicates. So that worked. The only problem was our button was actually in the range of our duplicates. So it got deleted as well. So we want to make sure we put our button in a position that it's not going to get deleted. So I'm just going to do this again. I'm going to go on top, put that button here in the first row where I don't have rows that get deleted. Press OK, right click, edit, and give this some name. 
Make this a little bigger, maybe. That should work. So now we should have what we need. So we could even add more to this. It shouldn't matter. So I'm going to copy this, go back and paste below someplace here. I guess that should double it to 22 and then another. Well, actually, it's 21 and then another 21. So let's see. Looking good. So that's 221. So that's 42 and one row for our headers on top. Works just fine. So that's how you can create a button assigned to one of your macros and it's just gonna run it. And that's it for our basic VBA series. In the next level, we'll be getting more into programming and maybe better way of addressing things. But this should give you a good foundation to be able to just record macros and do some modification to them to make them more dynamic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.